Hello everyone, we're back here at Hemi Band Library doing another recipe for you all for our team program. Today we're going to be making our own Crunchwrap Supremes, kind of like how you see at Taco Bell. So the ingredients that you would need are any type of cheese you want, uh, corn tatatas, our ground, seasoned ground beef is over there on the stove. And then you're going to need big and small tortillas and any type of cheese, sour cream, or any type of toppings you would like. Just it's completely up to you. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so now let's get started with our crunch wrap. We're gonna get our queso cheese right here. Queso. Take it and then we'll spread it out. A little bit more. Okay. Take some of our meat right here. There we go. Center. We're gonna take some uh, shredded cheese right here. Put it on top. And this this is the thing that makes it makes it a crunch right. This big chip. We're gonna place that on top right there. Then we got our sour cream. Some of that, spread it on top of the hard chip, hard shell. Like so. We're gonna take some of our onions. Make sure everybody washes their hands. Okay. Take our pico. Put that on top. Okay. Lettuce. Put everything we have on it. Okay. We got our smaller soft tortillas. We're gonna place one of these on top, there. like so. Then we're gonna kind of fold it as best as we can. Hold it to center. Best you can. And now we're at the stove. We're gonna drop it down in there just to seal it and close it. Drop it on that side. Make sure you put a little bit of oil in the pan too so it don't stick. Just let that side toast up. So after about five minutes on low heat, it should be all sealed up. We're gonna flip it over just like that. Nice and brown. About another five minutes, get that other side nice and brown. Now since we got the other side nice and crisp up, we're gonna take it back over here. Now we're gonna cut into it. Okay, now since we got our crunch wrap, okay, now since we got our crunch wrap out the pan, let's cut into it. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Clean cut. 
Right, look at all that goodness on the inside. And there you go. You got your own DIY crunch wrap. Uh, thanks you, thank you everybody for joining us today for this recipe. Hope you all have fun at home making it, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.